This is the final video about this game um, and it's just a very very sad thing to make guys I don't know what to say um, it's just oh my god it's just so sad oh and uh, yeah uh, oh my days yeah it's, it's so hard like the words don't come out even though I knew what I was gonna say I they just don't come out like it's just it's just the time when the time it's just it just, has just come um, and it's just time to accept the truth and just say that this game is now gone it's time, it's time, it's time to say farewell oh well the time has come for this video um, I've been thinking how to make it uh, guys um, because well we've, we've known for uh, two months now that the game is gonna be shot uh, the walking dead uh, world has come to an end after four and a half years I mean it's just been it's just been crazy um, came out in July in 2018 and it just got shut off 31st of January 2023 um, it was a very interesting journey uh, for me personally even though I wasn't technically involved uh, uh, playing the game uh, in the last year and a half um, uh, but there were so many memories every month <laughs> of all the years uh, that I've been playing and been uh, helping the community out and just like uh, creating various uh, various things where there's gonna be like resources, guides, uh, community events we made um, but yeah, I just, I just, I just can't believe that it's, it's finally come to an end. Like I knew one day it's gonna be, it's gonna happen. But damn, I, like all the games I played, like I've been playing games for like 10, 12 years, and they're still going, you know. Like, um, but like just, just having a game, um, just like ends just like that. And even if I what, I didn't play it, um. Just as soon as I found out, and I found out straight away because I it appeared on my Facebook from the official Walking Dead account, uh, the Walking Dead Hour account, they're gonna be shutting the game in a month's time. Um, it straight away hit me, you know, like even though I wasn't playing, it just hit me, and I straight away went to the Discord servers, you know, because um, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was like a, maybe I was dreaming or something, you know, it, it wasn't true. Um, but then after a while, I just realized, well, the time has come for this game. Um, I had a feeling, honestly, uh, that, that they're gonna kill the game off after the show ends. And because the season of Walking Dead ended, uh, they announced straight away that the game is gonna end as well. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely something I did not like want to happen, at least not at this point in time. Um, because even if I didn't play over the last year and a half, I still feel like, um, how do I say it? I don't know how to say it, guys. I don't know. This is very, this is very hard video. This is like maybe well, the, the hardest video I've made. Like, um, if we go back to when I started the game, 2018, oh, let's talk about the memories a bit now. I just, I just don't know. I just want to talk about the memories. Like, um, 2018 it was a summer day sunny day when I downloaded the game well I knew it was gonna come out like a year a year before that because it got announced they, they were public beta tests I've been following the game closely all the information about the game I always kept up to date with the NG next games is official uh, reports about the game and all that um, and I also was in contact with those guys as well. Um, so uh, yeah, I got that game on one sunny day in the summer of 2018. And well, it was my first AR game. Like I did not play Pokemon Go. I did not play Jurassic World. I did not play, uh, was it the Harry Potter game? There was like a bunch of other AR games at the time. Um, and then, and then uh, I downloaded the game, I started playing, I was like, wow, AR, you can actually have zombies on your screen in real life? That was crazy. Even like one of my first videos got, I think like 80,000 views or something, uh, or 50,000, 
50,000 or something. I don't remember, or maybe 20,000. Uh, but it did get quite a lot of views because it was like the AR uh, version. Uh, I was playing uh, on, on the roads and there was like zombies and stuff. Um, so yeah, I got my first legendary rig there. I remember uh, that was that was a very hype thing. Um, and uh, yeah, I just I was just playing the game, playing the game alongside their other walking at games, No Man's Land. Um, I started making videos on it because I knew I was gonna make videos on it as soon as the game came out. Um, but then I kept going, I kept going. Uh, the summer ended. Um, Halloween came, sort of like it came autumn, and we had some of the one of the big, biggest uh, one of the bigger updates in the game and the, since the uh, global launch, and that was the bait update. Uh, we got this item called bait, and that was, uh, yeah, that that bait. This update changed the game forever. I swear, like it did change the game, and it's actually quite sad. This is not even funny anymore. Like this is actually sad because it's something in the past and something you cannot even play or do anymore, um, except just to, like remember about it um, and just watch recordings of like uh, I did remember like live streaming bait parties and stuff. Um, but um, we um, we I organized like the as soon as bait came out. I thought maybe this like was a really cool social thing that they made. So we made a well, I think I made the first bait party, like the bigger one, uh, sort of like um, it was around Halloween, and uh, I just wanted to try it out. But it turned out it became quite successful, and many people joined. And I remember people were flaring uh, flaring teams. Uh, I even made my own Discord server. This is where I got into Discord. I actually knew about Discord, uh, but this game got me Discord. I'm using Discord every day today thanks to The Walking Dead Our World, and it's just crazy. Um, so yeah, we got uh, that. Um, we got the bait party going. I got the server going. The server was specifically for the bait party itself, um, and. Uh, uh, yeah, the bait party was pretty successful. After the bait party, the server kept going, kept expanding, more people kept joining. I kept learning about how to run servers because uh, I didn't know anything about Discord. So I was learning about the moderation tools. I even uh, recruited some uh, moderator. Hi, Dahlia. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, we just kept going. And then in November, I believe we did another bait party. Uh, and then I wanted to do like a big bait party for Christmas of 2018. I even uh, back at the time I was actually focused uh, because I found out that people could cheat in the game by spoofing their location. This is something that I did not find uh, right to do uh, because I'm always uh, supporting the fair play in games. Essentially, I don't really like uh, to cheat and I don't really like playing with people to cheat um, and back in the day I was actually hunting a lot of cheaters uh, with a couple of other people um, and that was actually that was actually as well a bit of fun times because we were playing a bit of hide and seek with different accounts in various places um, and uh, yeah it, this is like sort of like uh, made the developers aware that there were people cheating although I later uh, as the time went on, the years went on, I realized the developers didn't really care as much because they weren't focusing on developing new methods. So I sort of gave up and I just started not to pay attention to it really. Um, but yeah, the Christmas Bay Party uh, was organized. I actually organized it with uh, Andrew Harshman, who turned out to be uh, somebody I found to be cheating, but then I started working with him. Um, and wow, that was a that was a crazy experience because um, yeah, I thought I, I it's gonna be sort of like let's set up a trap for cheaters, uh, but then it, then at one point it, the bait party became so big and it's just so hard to manage that he actually uh, came and helped in the right moment. Um, so the um, so we had another person called Fudo who was leading one of the spoof servers and one of the leader of the spoofers. Who was also helping out um, and then we had like a crazy crazy Christmas bait party I think it lasted for oh, I don't remember maybe it's like a it was a week maybe longer uh, but that bait party uh, these big bait parties made the developers restrict bait to basically not have it as unlimited amount of um, 
uh, 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 players being able to play bait, but just to a uh, uh, 50 uh, bait, and uh, yeah, they kind of locked. They added the social cooldown and all that uh, later in 2019. But yeah, this was 2018. Moving to 2019, my server expanded. I kept developing the server. Uh, in March, I, I I was basically my server was the biggest server uh, for the community at the time. Uh, we hit almost I think over a thousand people. Um, and then uh, things went wrong. I think it was uh, it's probably something that I did uh, and when it comes to managing the server because people decided to make their own new server. Uh, Harshman was the person that did it, uh, obviously. Uh, it was a bit obvious it's gonna happen. Uh, and then Dahlia followed and they that's how they made the Our community server uh, which uh, is still alive and uh, going. Um, and yeah, they made a server, then I stayed running my own server still. At one point in the summer of 2019, I decided that, well, it's time to merge because I feel like it's just better to focus our resources together. So I actually ended on the, up on that server, stopped working on my server and started creating like stuff like badges, roles, uh, resources for the game, uh, helping out people. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. This is something I really enjoy doing and not really as much as playing the game. Like, I don't really care how many walkers I killed or how many raiders I killed. I just wanted to help people out with various ways. I was still making my videos. Uh, in June 2019, we had uh, Philippe, uh, the new NG community manager that came for the game, join and there were some fun times. Uh, I think he was one of the one of the really good people. I love chatting all the time. Um, it was it was definitely like a really really uh, really really cool experience with him, especially when he came. And then straight away, I think that was the time when they banned Sheriff Lobo, who was a really funny guy. I loved Sheriff Lobo, and then he came back as Victor Von Doom, and then. There was a guy called Ryan who kept hunting him. That was the time where we actually started doing the uh, voice chats. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the we had uh, Harshman started doing the Zoom chats and we all did the video video chats and all that. We were like, what? Well, there were like a lot, there was like 20, 30 people at a time. Uh, and there was a guy called Cotton Rotten, uh, there's Ftoy and Millie and all those other people. Um, that we also had a trash talk in the community server and that was always funny, I always wake up and there were like days I would literally wake up and spend just reading messages because I, I was asleep, most people were American so I would wake up and there would be like 500 messages so I would just like spend hours just reading it because it was so funny um, and I was just laughing uh, literally sitting and laughing and that was that was that was some amazing stuff that was a, some that was some funny stuff um although people blame me that apparently i instigate some of it uh while i was sleeping so i don't know how that works um but yeah <sighs> moving on uh, summer as well summer 2019 was very big when it comes to um we had uh rocket uh i don't know if I actually remember his full name who made a, a group of community representative. Uh, we uh, made an established group uh, with uh, chats with uh, developers and we sort of signed the NDA agreements to um, uh, to basically help develop the game but keep information that we get in advance secret from the rest of the community. Uh, so that started and then a month later, uh, developers decided to ban many players because they were exploiting uh, a glitch the time glitch where you can just change the time of your device and uh, get free resources and stack on resources and unlimited resources um so yeah this happened many people got banned uh for 20 years i think they got banned uh, until 2037 or 39 but the game is now gone guys so five years later the game is gone um so yeah uh people got banned uh, then information got leaked about the legendary counter the social cooldown that was coming the six hour social cooldown and then uh, i of course i was blamed maybe because people thought i was a snitch to ng but i actually didn't know what this was about i actually actually even though i was still hunting uh, uh people that spoofed and used uh, glitches like uh, hacks like god mode i i never sort of like knew what this glitch was about until I actually people got banned and i actually found out that was like one of the things i never knew about and after that i started actually learning about other glitches and exploits like you know pressing on, uh, on an epic or rare crate 
when your character was uh, injured and you can automatically heal him without using a first aid kit and there are some other glitches with flares and I know that uh, that were benefit for the players but developers never fixed even though they knew so yeah at one point it was really no point in reporting those because yeah um 2019 ended up pretty all right I guess because they added the social cooldowns and they restricted they even stopped setting bait for like a year or like 10 months at least we didn't have any bait parties back because also people were going banned they start to start from new accounts start from scratch people stopped trusting a lot to each other because of the bans and now people didn't know who to trust there was i feel like with the community there was always this um a barrier between some people it's like even for me i i didn't know who and I, I, obviously I knew people that I can talk normally, but then there were people who you really didn't want to review much, you know, like sort of like, I feel like there was like a sort of like a sort of like a, a different groups of people who stayed in their own group and they didn't want to bring outsiders in, you know, like I, I feel like as I was an outsider for most of the times uh, because I people knew I had connections with developers, people were, I feel like people were afraid. Um, and uh, I, knew, I, I I sort of knew that, and uh, it's something that I couldn't I couldn't really change because uh, um, I just kept doing what I was doing. I was just creating resources, helping people out, making videos, uh, helping the game develop, uh, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just it's just how it went. I feel like at one point it was it was like that. Uh, anyway, 2019 ended. 2020 uh, came. Obviously, we had the COVID outbreak uh, that, that happened as well, um, and then uh, we had the free flares coming in. We had uh, 2020. Actually, the beginning of 2020 was very interesting year because I started working with Dahlia and some other people on the official community resource about the game, the card resource, and that took a couple of months. Uh, that was a lot of data to enter uh, to, to finalize everything, and I did even make a basic guide, uh, which is I believe is still available somewhere. Um, but yeah, did ha that happened as well. Um, and yeah, 2020, I don't remember exactly for the rest of the year uh, what happened there. Uh, we just kept going. I, I believe at one point in 2020, we made a new community server. Well, I didn't make it, but other people did because people were fed up with Dahlia, the way she managed things and she handled things. Um, so we had a new The Walking Dead Hour player community server, which is the uh, latest and final server uh, uh, for the community. And it was the biggest server ever, I believe, for the game, even though every alliance, every every uh, every um, club, every guild, what was the name, um, had a every group had their own discord servers we had you know the, the different alliances the the player server was the biggest one almost 2000 people i think like uh, 1700 uh, somewhere there um and uh yeah and uh, yeah 2020 was the it was the year uh, I did actually forget to mention 2018 was another uh, in November after the first debate parties. I actually uh, ended up visiting Helsinki, visiting NG's HQ. I had I decided to visit them because obviously I was already making video on their previous game for three years, um, and I just wanted to sort of. Uh, yeah, just just wanted to just wanted to uh, see the developers, and I had the opportunity to do it. And I went there. I got all this swag, as you can see, the Angie scarf, the hat. I ca I keep uh, all of these our world stickers that uh, we have, and this is something I'm gonna keep, guys. I'm using this is this is just memory. This this memory is like it's just crazy. This these this is all just memories um, about the game. This is something that I will never. Um, this is something that I will never actually throw away. I'm gonna keep everything and I have as well the so I have socks I have this is obviously about the other game a bag. I got some other poster cards and uh, Stuff that they used they sent me before as well for like Christmas in 2016. I got a package from them um, So yeah, that was that was a fun time visiting next games HQ uh, Talking to the current community managers and it was just fun seeing people in real life um, you know, not just in front of the screen. 
Uh, yeah, so 2020, uh, we made the community resource, the biggest community resource, the official community resource, because we got data directly from Next Games. We even had um, various access uh, of like uh, recordings of like characters being upgraded, uh, even legendary cars up to level 20, because it was not really possible for to be able to get that, but the developer build had that. Uh, so we actually managed to check the stats and all the level of beta so we can uh, enter it. Oh, obviously, I did, I did most of the entering, uh, by the way. Uh, back back then, uh, people, other people did like the formatting, the layout and all that. So I did mostly the data entering and uh, just adding the images that we got, the official images. And that was really fun. Uh, that was really fun. After that, I did the interview with Philippe. I remember in June, uh, I even did a small series where I in in uh, interview with different community members and I did an uh, interview with uh, Philippe from NG. Uh, and uh, yeah, 2020 was another year where I believe we got um, uh, not Daryl's bike, not the free roam. We got the free roam as well. Uh, this was a very big thing as well um, because we we hinted it in the interview. So, uh, but we got the uh, Ezekiel's cane, and I remember when it came out the first weekend, it was so fast, and then they nerfed it, and I went crazy. Uh, and I yeah, it was fun because even I had to talk to Ng uh, just just so they can. Uh, because I was really, I was really angry at the situation. People were angry, and obviously, I didn't have to be that angry because I was. I don't think I've been that angry with the game for like a, for like never. Because I was always like about the every change NG does is for the better. Um, but it's just that, uh, yeah, it's just it was just a bit very interesting here because it got really mad because I I paid money because it was so fast and then they nerfed it on the first day after the weekend and it was crazy. Um, and uh, wow, that was uh, that was that was that was yeah. I had I, well, I had to adapt to a change, you know. Like I couldn't do much about it. They said it's a bug. It was a bug. So yeah, um, yeah. So that was the time also when I made the major server. I got to uh, know major who used to be well, who was spoofing obviously because he had this condition. Um, he couldn't go out and. Um, I actually made the server. I actually don't remember exactly how I got close to him. We, uh, me, him, and Lily, we doing the regular voice chats. We had the Ruby server, uh, Ruby Rose, uh, her server. Then she shut it down. There was some drama, and then we made the, the, the major server, and then we had the daily voice chats. And there was the COVID, so we couldn't really go out. It was the national lockdowns in every country, so we were like communicating and just like having drinking nights and there was goose singing and uh, yeah it was just it was just crazy it was really funny um, I just love that um, yeah uh, then 2021 we had uh, the community events I gave the idea to organize obviously uh, uh, many people helped like uh, Dahlia, Philippe agreed to sponsor and developers decided to sponsor the rewards uh, we had the Rick and Shane event in January 2021 uh, then we had another event where we had different goals. We even made the server uh, for it. It was very, very hard to organize because we had to collect data, especially with pictures and then enter data. We had Mika Ime, who she was very helpful in organizing the data and uh, just like uh, making all the formulas and everything, you know. I did set up like the forums and made the announcements, set up with it. Shout out to everybody that did the language channels. Um, because we had the, uh, not the first event, but then we decided because it's so many people asking questions in different languages, we actually had to have a different, um, uh, different um, sections for people to communicate in their own language. We had to respect that not everybody spoke English, so we uh, made end up having sections in French, Spanish, German, Italian, Russian. Mr. Goose uh, translating for Russian and Italian and also helping out with English. He was. It was just knowing a bunch of languages, so very helpful. A uh, shout out to everybody else who moderated it, uh, we, uh, the, 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 the channels. I don't remember all the names, um, but uh, yeah, we had uh, Sierra, we had Ashi for the Spanish, Sierra for the German. Uh, we had other people helping out. For French, we had, uh, I believe, was it Cado? Uh, I don't really remember everybody, guys. I'm really sorry about this, but. Uh, it's just been it's been it's been a couple of years now. Um, so yeah, um, we had that happening, and uh, we had the royal ambush event uh, back when they introduced princess. That was like the third and I believe the final event we did. 
um, because uh, we realized that with every event uh, there were less and less people signing up so I think it was killing all the fun uh, or sort of people were not happy with how the rewards were distributed because only I believe like 10 or max 20 people could get rewards even if there were like uh, like 300 people participating uh, and uh, so everybody knew that the most uh, people that pay would essentially I guess get the rewards but it was just a good initiative I feel like it got people playing together and it was a fun thing to do I really enjoyed that I don't regret anything I've done uh, for this community everything was amazing uh, I don't regret it uh, and I, I I love it and I remember it and I'll remember it I have all the servers I'll never delete the servers guys I'm gonna keep the servers my the, the community event servers, the OG server, I hope the other people don't delete the other servers. It's just good to have the chatter left and the memories, I think that's something we need to keep. Uh, and then 2021, um, yeah, it was the year where um, I stopped playing the game in August, mainly because um, I had to stop working with NG, uh, with the NDA and stuff, uh, so I had to leave the group um, and yeah. That was the time when I stopped sort of like focusing. That was the time when they released their new game, Stranger Things Puzzle Tales, in the summer. I started making videos on this game. I started playing that game every day. Uh, later, I made my alliance of with of five clubs, and it was so big. I had a Discord server and everything. I was so busy with that game. Uh, I had to just uh, stop our because it, I just lost the purpose of playing it and helping out, especially when I was really directly involved with the community even though I was occasionally checking uh, so from this August of 2021 until now for the last year and a half I was occasionally checking uh, every at least maybe a, a couple of times a week on servers and see what the updates are what the changes are making to seasons everything I was always up to date with the mythic cards and all that um, so because I was uh, I always like to do that for games I don't play anymore but I still keep up to date um, yeah, and uh, that's that's that. that. Now is the time where the game is gone, and uh, it's it's just sad, you know. Uh, and this is like I just really wanted to. As soon as I found out about the game ending, I knew I had to make such a video. I just thought I'd just go over my memories of the game, sort of like my my best memories. There were a lot more than what I said, um, but um, obviously, like I cannot remember everything in full detail, um, and uh, it's just like. Yeah, I just wanted to get this off my chest. I just wanted to speak about it, uh, about it because it's just like, uh, yeah, yeah. I just want to have this video as well. Stay even like in a couple of years time when I come back and I check the servers, I come see the video. You know, like it, it's just, it's just gonna be like, yeah. I mean, all the videos are there. They're there. I don't plan to remove any of them. You know, um, so the, the memories are always gonna be there for the videos I made um, and for everything I made. You know. I still keep a lot of like the assets and the stuff I've made uh, so yeah it's just nice to have it I don't like to remove things like I just like keeping these for the memories because one day the nostalgia is gonna hit like it does and it's just nice to have something to look at you know like it's just it's just crazy but yeah I hope I, we get uh, to keep in touch with people uh, we we came to know along the way thanks to the game um, I know some people, uh, I know families were created uh, with this game, people met in real life from this game, people travel around the world for this game, thanks to this game to meet uh, other people, some people got married, some people had kids, some people were in a relationship, yeah it was just really really nice to read that, um, yes, damn, all the good memories, everything has has to come to an end, you know yeah oh well guys I, I I'm just gonna cherish the memories that's it guys I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just gonna remember it I'm gonna remember it through as much as I can obviously with as the years go by we're gonna forget about it we're gonna have starting having vague memories but I hope everything that I have um, in terms of like YouTube videos discord server chatter resources items assets like everything it, the stays, you know, and then we just one day we can remember about it uh, and maybe you guys can tell your kids Like well, there was this game. We used to play 20 years ago, you know, like uh, and um, Yeah, it's just uh, It's just like Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but this is the final video about this game um, And it's just a very very sad thing to make guys. I don't know what to say um, It's just 
Oh my god, it's just so sad. Oh, and uh, yeah. Uh, oh my days. Yeah, it's it's so hard. Like the words don't come out. Even though I knew what I was gonna say, I just, they just don't come out. Like it's just it's just the time when the time. it's just it just, has just come. Um, and it's just time to accept truth and just say that this game is now gone. It's time, it's time, it's time to say farewell to the Walking Dead Hour, or um, the game that's made so many memories for so many people, so much fun, so much drama. At certain points, um, <sighs> yes, a very interesting, uh, very interesting couple of years. I do have to say, definitely. Uh, definitely uh, think this game taught me a lot uh, especially with like people interactions and like especially like discord uh, because I didn't know about discord but discord is a, is a place I use every day now uh, I'm on so many different servers and I run different communities and uh, yeah it's just it's just so it's just like yeah this game is like I'll never forget it as because I'm gonna keep using discord I always for I remember that I got into Discord because of the Walking at Our World. Like this is like probably like something I'll never forget. Um, and uh, yes. Oh well, time to wrap this up, guys. I mean, I've been chatting for like half an hour. I'm not gonna uh, cut anything on from this video because I just feel like it's just nice to have it. It's just one single take. Uh, just to feel more natural, you know. Like uh, I didn't practice this. I just knew I had to make this video. But I didn't know what to say, so I just started speaking. So yeah, uh, okay. Well, I'll see you guys around. My channel is gonna be still around. I'm gonna be still around the community servers of the Walking Dead Hour, so we can always have a chat. We don't say goodbye. This is not farewell. This is just goodbye. We say farewell to the game, but we don't say farewell to the people. Um, so yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's the end, guys. This is the end, and. Oh my days, it's so sad. Oh my days, okay. <laughs> right, I'm gonna end this and I hope you guys, whatever you, game you pick up after this, the way, whatever you do in life, I hope you're successful. And uh, even if you don't watch any of my videos, um, I just hope you have a great life. I like the world we live in today is not the best. Uh, it's getting worse every day. Um, so yeah, I just hope everyone stays safe. Everyone is... Everyone is uh, fed up. Everyone, you know, has um, has everything to keep their families and uh, well. And uh, yeah, best of luck to everybody. Uh, it's been a blast. Uh, I really enjoyed the journey. Uh, but it's time to say farewell to the Walking at Our World.